What's up everybody? Batman here. You know, we've done so many different stuff in this YouTube channel. We've done movie reviews, we've done toy reviews, we've done live shows on Blog TV. So many different stuff. It's about time that we're doing something different now. Today, we are going to do a video game review. Except this review show on this YouTube channel is going to be a little bit different. This review show, I am the host. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You are witnessing the beginning of the new show, Let's Talk Games with Batman. Now, I don't really play a lot of video games, you know, because I'm outside fighting crime and being awesome and all that, but eventually, when nothing's really going on, I like to play video games. And today is the perfect opportunity to talk about one game that recently came out last month. And that game... Okay, that was an airplane. And that game is called... Arkham City. Now, now some of you may be asking, Batman, that game came out last month. Why are you reviewing it now? Well, I wanted to review it when it came out, but I was so busy talking about. I was so not talking. I was so busy playing this game. I was so busy having fun with this game. So it's about time that I get off my couch and start reviewing this game. So let us be. Surprise! Ah! Joker! Hey, Bessie! Long time no see! What do you want? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm here... because I thought that you would like some help with the, uh, Arkham City review. Oh, and, um, if you're wondering how I got here, uh... The... the walking snowman? I think he would know his name. Um... You showed me a secret passage into your house. Uh, since the last time we met, you uh, graciously uh, showed me the door so well. And uh, I thought, well, this is the best way to return the favor. And, you know, since I'm a nice guy. Oh, hell no! Last time you were in one of my videos, you got your ass kicked. Want me to kick your ass again? Listen here, and stick it in your pointy ears. See, you gotta realize something. Um, a lot of people will get pissed off at you because, um, you know, a lot of pe a lot of people love me than they do more about you. Damn it, he's right. It's gonna be the worst decision ever, but fine, you can be in my review. You see, Batman, I knew that you would see it. My way. Quiet! Alright, so we have a special guest here, ladies and gentlemen. The Joker. Yeah, yeah, Joker, just shut up. Alright, so let us be... Hiya, pudding! Oh, God. Oh, there you are, pumpkin pie. Oh, Mr. J, I've missed you so much. It was oh, God. It was a woozy queen. Who's my queen? Who's my Q? Who's my Q? Who's my Q? Oh, oh, oh God. Who's my Q? Oh, That's it. Harley, you want to be in a review? Fine, you can be in a review. Wait, why wasn't I invited in the first place? Because no one likes you. Okay. Okay. All right, so hopefully without any other interruption, let us begin. Hey guys, I heard you were going to do a review for Batman Arkham City. Can I join you? Because we know, after all, I am the most anticipated DLC character to download for the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Market, which now, pretty soon, you'll be able to download me around November. I forget exa the exact date. I mean, I'm pretty sure the text will appear right up. There you go. But see, um, I think I should be part of this review. I mean, this game is the reason why I'm cool now. Now everybody sees me. Ow! 
Fine, you guys don't know the meaning of the word cool. I mean, now if I hear people- GET OUT oh, NOW! Jesus. <laughs> so, let us begin the first episode of Let's Talk Games with Batman and Joker and Harley! No, 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 shut up. Let's begin our review of Arkham City. to Arkham City takes place a couple years after Arkham Asylum where Quincy Sharp has taken all credit to, you know, to, after, to defeating the Joker. Which is a, a complete dick move if you ask me. But moving on. So, after some financial trouble realizing that Arkham Asylum and Blackgate can't really maintain all these insane criminals. So what does he do? Because he's running for mayor of Gotham City, he buys a whole selection of Gotham City, mostly Gotham slums, and creates Arkham City, which is a, a free roam town for a bunch of criminals to run free, but there's absolutely no way for them to escape whatsoever. But because he's mayor, he can't always watch it. So who does he hire? Psychiatrist Hugo Strange. And I'm worried that it might get out of hand just a little bit if you're going to let all these criminals run free. Plus, Catwoman lives there as well, so I gotta be worried about her, because, you know, I can't let that ass go to waste, you know? So, um... Also, I have a feeling that this is the worst idea ever. So, me, Bruce Wayne, is holding a press conference trying to get the people, get people convinced, you know, to, to, no, try to get the people to agree with me Saying this is the worst idea ever. We gotta stop this. Of course, I get knocked out and I get dragged to Arkham City. I become a prisoner, but not for a very long time. I escape, of course. I dress up in my Batman gear and I kick some ass. And of course, all hell breaks loose. Plus, the Joker is dealing with a very, very disgusting disease. That he got from the uh, Titan from the last game, Arkham Asylum. And it's slowly killing him. That's the plot. That is the whole plot. I don't want to spoil anything else. That until I get to the spoilers, of course. But that is the whole plot. That's the story to Arkham City. The triangle button is counter. Uh, I have the PS3 version. Uh, uh, circle, circle, escape, stun, square, strike. X is run, double tap to evade. You got your start. Your look, ar look around is obvious. It's, it's a normal. It, it, it plays like a basic adventure game. They, they got the same controls. Um, the D-pad actually controls actually controls uh, his movement actually controls uh, the B man's uh, weapons that you can select therefore fire um, shoot his grappler so for the overall graphics I really enjoyed the layout they made for Arkham City aka Old Gotham I enjoyed that they put the little details in there, such as Crime Alley. Um, there's a lot of the buildings that were actually in the Batman comic books that you never really pay attention to that they actually put in there, like the Ace Chemical Building. No one really, you know, paid attention that that place is actually really popular in the comic books. Um, as for the characters, I really enjoyed all the designs, especially 
my design. I enjoyed the uh, artwork they did for Mr. Freeze and Two-Face. I wasn't too happy that they went more towards the Batman Forever Two-Face, but still it really matched the game. And I enjoyed that um, all the voice actors they put in there, all the voice actors were simply brilliant in their roles, and I'm just glad that the game was an awesome success. Alright, so my overall thoughts of this video game. Do I think this is better than Batman Arkham Asylum? Yes! I think this game is fantastic. I didn't really have a lot of problems with it. There's only like some problems with the controls and all. Uh, but still, everything has improved with the last game, Arkham Asylum. I still think that Arkham Asylum is a great video game, but... Every time you play this game, it feels new and it feels fresh. It doesn't feel old. And I was worried that was going to happen because that's what happens with most video games. Look at Call of Duty or something like that. Every time I play, I was like, oh, cool. Well, wow, this is cool. But now as time gets older, I've done this before. Yeah, I won. Blah, blah, blah. But here, Rocksteady knows what they're doing here. I think this is the best video game for Super... Uh, the best video game for 2011. This game rocks.